Hello there, this is Kevin from KevinDRue.com and today I'm coming to you with another two minute tutorial and I do apologize if my voice is a little bit off tonight I came down with a bit of a bug last night and today and uh, I'm just trying to fight that off uh, after I'm done this tutorial I'm going to hit the hit the sack and uh, hopefully we'll end this 90 day uh, challenge on a healthy note. So, having said that, let's do a quick recap of what we've uh, gone over the last couple days. First, we showed you how to create an image in uh, OpenOffice software. Let's go down and see this. So we've uploaded an image off the internet into our uh, OpenOffice software. We've added some text to it. Looks uh, you know professional and then after we've done that we've uploaded it to Craigslist ad tracker we did this yesterday we uploaded our image into this awesome tracking software so what's next next we have to decide where we want the people to go once they click on our image okay so we have three options they can either go to our capture page Okay, one of your capture pages that you have for your opportunity. They can go to an application form. Okay, so say you you want to um, kind of interview them first to see if they're they're right, they're a good fit for your opportunity. It's a great idea. And number three, we can send them to a phone number. They can call us directly, or we can send them to an answering machine, and they can get back to us from there. So we're going to cover all three of these, but for tonight because <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent let's just tackle uh, the second one and that is designing an application form for the uh, for your people to go over and answer and fill out once after they click on your image ad okay and it's super easy to do you can do it from right inside Greg's list ad tracker how cool is that that's totally cool. So, how you get started is you go to contact forms, okay? And you can use this more than uh, just for an application form. There's there's m many things you can use this for. I'm trying not to <laughs> try not to cough here. So just scroll right down to the bottom. Click here to get you started with your lead forms, okay? So click on that. Okay, and you can create a new form. Um, let's just go blog test. Okay, and create new form. Okay, so this loads up the little template of your form. Okay, so there's your form name. That's for your use only. Uh, the form title your people uh, clicking on the ad will see or not see depending on what you do here in this box so let's just go application form okay and you could add a little description here here here's where you can put a little bit about your company or just stating please fill out the application form and just uh, just put a little blurb in there and here's what happens after they've submitted their form, they get a little, the form has been submitted, thank you very much, you can change whatever's in there as well. One second. Alright, so step two here, you can go into form fields. I generally like the, the name, the email, the phone number. Subject and message, you don't really need. The spam verification, that's the capture form, that's good to have. Okay, so put that in there. It always will show up as the last uh, field, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so you've got uh, fields one, two, and three here. If you want to add some of your own, they they've just got a ton of uh, of boxes here that you can use. So let's let's just go with two more. Okay, so uh, sh show one, two, three, and then this will be the fourth one. Uh, let's put. 
experience. Uh, number five, let's put uh, revenue target. Okay. So please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> please enter your. Um, I'm just going to do this real down and dirty. Please enter your experience here. Okay. And here. Um, please enter your expected. Revenue, something like that. Okay, real, real quick. Uh, you can extend these as well. Okay, to make it a multi-line text box, drop-down menus, whatever you want, basically. Um, so there you have it. Uh, you can also change the colors and the layout of the form. I usually keep it pretty, uh, you know, pretty basic. Um, this thing has its own autoresponder in it. It, it. it truly is pretty amazing software that you can play around with okay step five if you want to uh, after they've filled out your application form if you want to direct them somewhere else you can do that here okay or leave it blank and step number six this is where you get the code for your ad uh, one thing that you have to do here you can leave it at contact us or I like the Apply now, apply today, something like that. Okay? So also remember, when you're doing these things, always remember at the end of you know any changes that you make, if you make any changes in any of these, always remember to save your changes, okay? Because there's no save button down here, so it's a little tricky. It's something you have to remember to do. So make your changes, come back up here, and save changes. Okay, this one page doesn't seem to change, or it doesn't seem to be able to, to save. I always have trouble with this page here, so apply now, click to preview, and there the box is there. So this is the code that you're going to copy and paste uh, into a, a notepad or something like that, like I have here. Okay, excellent. So that is how you create a capture form again, or a contact form again. So from your from your image tracking, where we were last night, you go to contact forms, which is at the top of the page. Okay, scroll down to the very bottom. Super, and you make your own uh, capture form. Let's take a look at the one we just did blog test view the form okay pretty basic pretty down dirty but uh, name email phone number uh, subject message because remember I didn't save it remember that um, so let's go to uh, this one this one's finished I've used this one a few times so I did change the background here to a light blue and I can change the background here if I like but um, it's pretty down pretty dirty just uh, name email phone number employment status, experience and skills, and revenue targets. So that is it for creating a form. Super easy, super simple, super fast, and it is included in your Greg's List ad tracker. Awesome. I am going to hit the hay in just a few minutes, uh, but I wanted to get this out to you. Um, that's it for today, but please come back tomorrow when we'll be continuing our series on Greg's List um, advertising. Awesome. Have a great night. Bye for now.